guys, it's Sam, and today I will be doing 10 things that you didn't think you'd bring, you didn't, blah, blah, blah. Hi guys, it's Sam, and today I will be doing the 10 things that you wouldn't think to bring to college. So I hope with this video that I will give you guys some tips. If you guys think I forgot anything, feel free to start a discussion in the comments. Plastic dishes and cutlery. Your cutlery doesn't have to be plastic, but at least cutlery of some kind. Um, I really suggest the plastic um, spoons and cups and stuff. Um, I really suggest plastic just because it's a lot more durable and I prefer it over the convenience of uh, papers, paper cups and cutlery and stuff because you're constantly having to buy that stuff where you just buy this once and then you just have to buy dish soap every once in a while. Number two, cleaning supplies. I really suggest getting cleaning supplies um, because you think you can keep your room clean without it but you can't. It's really hard. Um, even if you just get some Lysol wipes, uh, I got mine at the dollar store for two bucks. It still has a sticker on it. It's cheap. These last forever. I think I bought two of these and I didn't even go through them at all. Depending how much you clean and how well you use these and what you use them for. Really good. Um, if you get the plastic cutlery and cups, you'll need dish soap and then some towels. I actually have um, some actual, what are they called? Dish towels, but um, towels too. Like this would be fine, these are reusable, they're also throw out if you don't want them anymore. I got this at Walmart, um, but dish soap for sure, and some Lysol wipes. Number three, medicine. I really suggest, these are pretty much, just make a lot of noise, I'll keep this in my hand. really suggest you get medicine before school starts or when you're doing your back to school shopping. Just get some Advil, Tylenol, whatever you want. I have Tylenol and Motrin on me. Um, I got vapor rub for when you have a cold. This was like my lifesaver when I had a cold. I also got some Benelin at some point because I had a flu and it really sucks when you're sick and you're miserable and you have to go to the store and buy yourself medicine. So I would just, or if you have a really bad headache or something, I would suggest just buy stuff before school starts when you're doing your back to school shopping anyways. Number four, a power strip. I really suggest you get a power strip. I ended up getting, I think, three. One for each outlet in my room, I think it was. Or was it two? I think I only have two. I only had two, I had two. Um, you think you have enough outlets in your room, but you don't. And if you, even, and if you have a roommate, I didn't. But if you have a roommate, you'll have even less and you tend to need a lot of stuff to plug in. So buy some power strips, some really good ones. Um, I just got some ones that were on sale. They both look like this. So I would really suggest getting some power strips. Number five, a printer. I would carry it over here, but it's a bit awkward to hold. Um, I really suggest getting a printer. Uh, I had a couple friends in university who didn't have printers and they relied on the school which kind of sucks for them because they constantly had to have their card loaded and they constantly had to pull it, go to the computer labs or the library and pull it up on the computer and print it all out. I would suggest getting a printer at home. The few of us, or the most of us, had printers at home and we were always had our stuff ready for class. Maybe every once in a while we need to run to the library if we forgot something, but we didn't always have to have our cards loaded. It was convenient. It was at home. You had it ready the night before. I would really suggest it. I know a couple of my friends said they didn't because of money, but if you can get one at the garage sale or um, a thrift shop or maybe get one from a friend, try to get a cheap one or really just invest in a good one if you want. Mine was, uh, the one I have is an old one we have from home that my mom didn't want anymore, so I took it with me. And if you buy, you'll have to buy the your car ink cartridges at some point if you have a second hand maybe there's some empty ones in there but you take those and go to the costco if you have a costco near you and for 10 bucks they'll fill it up i ended up having buying i think five four four ink cartridges sets before i eventually took them to costco and got them all filled it was like 50 bucks in the end for i think it must have been five because it was 50 bucks and that I had them and I think it didn't I didn't even use them all before the end of the year but you normally go with ink, through ink a lot so I was just doing that um, it's a lot more convenient it's a lot easier number six 
tape. I highly, highly suggest getting tape. Um, this is, I didn't, this is painter's tape. It's the only tape I could find to show you guys. Um, I had painter's tape. I had um, your normal scotch tape. You will use that probably a lot. I know I did. You use this stuff to decorate. You'll use it on school projects. You'll use tape a lot more than you probably think, so I really suggest stocking up on tape. Number seven, a hole punch and a stapler. Get a real good one, kind of like this. I was going to use one of those handheld hand -held ones, but my mom convinced me to get this, and it was a lifesaver. I use this so much. If profs give out paper, sometimes you're lucky and they will hole punch it for you, but sometimes they won't. Granted, I wouldn't bring this to class with me. It's a bit bulky and a bit awkward. But I used it all the time at home to hole punch my stuff when I put it in my binders. A lot of props ask you to print stuff at home. So this is a lifesaver to have one of these. I would invest in one. I got this at Walmart for a couple bucks. And a stapler. This is one that I brought with me to class all the time. And I had it in. I would just bring it with me everywhere. You need this. Props will also, again, they hand out paper. You want to hole punch it. Or you have an essay to hand in. You need a hole punch. Very rarely do teachers um, take... Uh, paper clips. I had one prof who had us paper clip and wool puncher stuff, so I really suggest getting that. Number eight, an air freshener of some sort. Um, depending on your school, it will depend on what you can have. Um, at my old school, we weren't allowed to have candles, but we could have thing flameless scent things. So I call them scentsies because that's what I know. But they're um, can't light bulb wax melter things. This is mine. It just plugs into the wall. It's got a light bulb and then it's got a wax on top. So this gets warm and it melts the wax and it's scented and it smells so nice. We have a couple of these at home too. So I got this at Walmart and then my mom bought me a bunch of Scentsies. If you don't know what Scentsy is, um, it's basically just scented waxes. I'll have it linked down below for you so you can check it out. Um, I love Scentsy. But this is what I used. Um, going into my new dorm, I'm not allowed to even have these, so I'm going to have to think of some new ideas. But if I ever do, I will definitely show you what I use. It's just getting some kind of air freshener of some sort. Um, my old dorms, they were old. They were quite old. So they didn't smell amazing. So if you had, we had a bunch of these, I think every person I know had some sort of smelling thing to make their room smell better. So Number nine, a fan. I think a lot of people do suggest these when they go to dorms, but I don't always see people buying them and showing them off or something like that. I guess it's not so exciting, but I would highly, highly, highly suggest to get a fan. doesn't matter what climate you live in, if it's hot or it's cold, at some point of the school year it will be warm and you will need this. I personally could not sleep without my fan. I got way too hot at night like way too hot it didn't matter what time of year it was i was just too hot like i even in the winter i'd have my window open and i still needed the fan on like i just could not i'm a person though that needs to sleep in the cold so that was me personally but the rooms do get really hot and last but not least number 10 a garbage bin and garbage garbage bags um, I would highly suggest this. My dorm did include garbage bins, but I ended up bringing another one. This is like from the dollar store for really, so really cheap. And I did end up religiously using both of them. So I personally like having the two of them, but if your dorm already has one, you don't have to get another one. But I would suggest getting another one. It was kind of nice to have. I had them on two different sides of my room, so no matter where I was, I had a garbage close by and I didn't have to find it. And then garbage bags. Uh, I was surprised that some of my... I had lived in a four-bedroom at one point before I switched to a two-bedroom. And I was surprised at the girls not bringing garbage bags, which was really shocking. I found these Glade roommate bags were really nice. They also have Febreze in them, which I really liked. Some of my roommates didn't, but I don't mind the Febreze in these. I don't know if they come without the Febreze, but these roommate uh, Glade bags are like the perfect size for these um dollar store bins or just for the small garbage it also worked really well with the garbage bins that the school provided so i really suggest that so those are the things that not everyone remembers to bring to college if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe for more and leave comments down below of other things that you think i might have forgot